Hello again, welcome back. So today we are gonna get sciency. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that uh, a word? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Pete has had some warm low oil pressure problems. I mean, they're not really a problem, but it's a concern when it gets hot is low oil pressure light goes off below 20 PSI. It shows about 15 PSI hot idle. And uh, we're gonna see if we could fix that a little bit. We have tried going all the way up to 20 W50 oil. It has helped, but it's not really cured anything. So we have a couple things we think are contributing factors, but none of them, I believe, are internal engine uh, factors. Everything was new and fresh, not even a few thousand miles ago. <laughs> Barely even a thousand miles <laughs> it's ago. Not, it's not been a thousand. <laughs> All the clearances are good. I believe it is because of the supercharger feed line is before the gauge sensor and the pressure light. But unless we would plug it up somehow, uh, there's no real way to tell. So what we are going to try today is we're going to try a different oil filter adapter. So you see in the, the thumbnail pictures, found this online advertised in some, uh, some Cleveland forums and it's track boss products, oil filter adapter. So what this does is it's, you're not going to use your traditional you know, FL one, a oil filter anymore. You're going to use, is Wix filter. So the Wix filter in comparison, externally, same physical size, but the hole for where the oil comes out into the engine is at least twice the size. So this is the actual, or one of the actual small block Ford oil filter adapters that screw into the side of the block. And then right here is where the oil filter screws onto right here. Well, as you can kind of see, the hole coming out to the engine is very, well, particularly small compared to this one. And this adapter will fit, and hopefully the oil filter and this fitting will no longer be a restriction. So the website touts 15 or 10 to 15 percent higher flow what does that mean in the real world if you're only at 10 to 15 psi that's one to two psi is 10 to 15 percent over top of 10 so you're instead of 10 psi you're going to be 12 psi so is it going to amount to anything i don't know <laughs> uh it's an interesting concept it's worth a go yeah I mean, this was like 40 bucks plus shipping you know, an oil filter is like, or off rock autos, this was still like eight bucks. So still comparable to a standard filter. So we're going to give it a go. Give see it a go. if it makes any difference. I think the hardest part for us is to get the fitting off of the block. Because they're not always like this with a hex key inside. Some of them are smooth uh, all the way around. Like there's a big drilled hole. We may have to grab it somehow. Put a big easy out in there to turn it out. This one to get it in. It uses a three quarter inch hex key and I ordered one, but it didn't show up on time. So plan B, <laughs> I went to the hardware store today to look for a three quarter inch bolt and pair of nuts. But in the living in the land of metric, uh, there were no three quarter inch bolts. So this is a 19 millimeter bolt with 19 millimeter nuts. And we're going to double nut and jam this on, stick it in here and use this as a little tool to thread this adapter on. So that's what's going to happen. So we're going to get this filter off and fitting off while it's still cold. And uh, we'll bring you back when uh, something's happening. I really smoked it on there. A smooth bore one so we'll have to see uh, get this one off real quick all right i got the old one the original one out it's not pretty <laughs> i decided to uh get aggressive because there's no way to 
to grab it unless we have a big enough easy out. And the easy out that I brought, the biggest one I have goes right through it. So uh, yeah, so plan C was a pair of channel lock pliers. Here's the new one going in. And this, there. Oh, oh look at that, it was real nice. this in here and give it a snug that's not coming out there we go that's all there is to it really right. so now we're ready for the new filter are we gonna are you gonna fill it out with oil yeah let's put some in it i don't like leave them dry people are like oh oh Leave them completely dry. That's how the factory does it. Fill them completely up. I just, I just I like. I always put oil in it. I just like to get the paper wet, yeah. just so it doesn't blast through there. So force. that one has already got some out of it. All right, because that's what I used for the last. I mean, I could pour some out of there into there, but. Well, yeah, that's true. Well, that's easy to pour it into this one. Just. Look! 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 Don't spill any. Also, trying to big. I usually just go up to the top. And... Yeah, that's what I do. Because you got to lean it over, obviously, to get it on. Yeah, let it paper wick some up. Get some oil on the threads, and that's it. It's one of the easiest jobs that we've done. <laughs> it makes a change. Well, let's yeah. see if it makes a difference here. You got the battery on and... Um, I don't think Cold Start's gonna really show us any difference yet. We'll have to wait till it warms up. Over 50 psi. Is that normal? Yep. Yeah. It'll, it'll go up as if I as I rev it. Okay. Well, let's let cold tack it. Let's just let it warm up. Well, let's come back when it's at about 180, and a few minutes has gone by. Just let the oil get up to temperature. <laughs> Damn it. All right, we're up to temperature. It's just flickering. Not really the outcome we had hoped for. But I think it's one we gotta live with for now. The temperature's coming down, but oil is like it's still heating up. But it never really did that before, did it? No, it, it, it got to the point where it then came on. Proper on? Yeah. yeah. Fan is and running. Yeah, fan is on. Our RPM is barely over 800. So, let me give it a little rev. You can see the pressure going up too. didn't really work out so <laughs> but we tried something different see if we can get it to work uh, we what our plan D was we would uh, <laughs> plan D we thought about removing the pressure line to the supercharger and putting the pressure senders ahead of it and hopefully we were thinking maybe the pressure drops right here and that's what the uh, the gauges are, sens are sensing, but I don't think oil pressure works like that. It's, it's the same pressure throughout the system. So, but the threads on this fitting were smaller than these fittings, so we couldn't swap anything around. So we took it apart, we made it leak. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to put a 
copper washer on it. Luckily, uh, Pete had a, a set of them, and that's, it's even better than it was before. So I'm surprised it wasn't leaking previously. So it's better than it was, but still not good enough for what we want or what we need. So uh, I think the ultimate solution is going to be an oil cooler for the car. So he's costing me more money, John. <laughs> so Mishimoto makes yep. a really good one specifically for Fox body Mustangs. And if we bring the oil temperature down, the oil pressure will go up. And theoretically we could run a thinner oil than 2050 and still get good pressure. And it's better for everything. It's better because I don't like running 20 thick oils. I don't like running old school. I like thick <laughs> oil. Because a high volume pump, I think would would work well in this situation. Yeah. But that's taking the oil pan off, and uh, an oil cooler is better all around. And even later on, when this engine gets swapped out, it'll when be when it gets swapped out, it will be uh, beneficial then as well. So it's not like it's wasted money or anything like that. So. And uh, yeah, and it will give us another video. <laughs> So we'll see if that works. If you still got the oil light after that, I think you'll punch me in the face. Yeah, my, Mike may my, my not be around to make any more videos. So, but it makes sense. Uh, it's got to help. And uh, I think it's the way, a way forward if you want to get rid of that light. So, because yeah. I just honestly think it's because the supercharger is pulling that little bit of oil off at idle. Because as soon as you bring it up off idle over a thousand RPMs, you got plenty of pressure. Yeah. And yeah. plenty of other motors work well that way. You have plenty of top end pressure, plenty of flow. Yeah. There's no rattles anywhere. It's everything's, I mean, you're in the, <laughs> it just runs too good. There's nothing in the filters. All the clearances were checked. It's just a, uh, it's just it's very disconcerting when yeah. that light comes on. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, especially up the quarter mile. Yeah. You finish the quarter mile, get your foot off the throttle, and then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the oil well, light comes the on. Yeah. The light is on when your foot's on the throttle, then you got to worry. Yeah, yeah, well, that's very true. But just a quick video. Didn't work out. I'm not saying this could work out for other people, but we tried. Anyway, guys, thanks, and I'll see you again in another video. Catch you later.